everyone. Welcome to Tech Down Over. I'm Rick Zanotti, and joining me is... And I'm Jeffrey Blanchard, and welcome to this week's edition of Tech Down Over. And here we go. And we are back and joining us in that center position of power. That's what we call it, the position of power. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Sam Seavey from The Blind Life. It's a great channel, and Sam does an, an, awful, an awful amount of great work to help people who can't see with some disabilities or, or accessibility issues with devices and all sorts of tips, tricks, and, and everything else. And Sam, we love watching your, your podcast. I, like I said, I discovered you about a month ago, and and I asked Sarah to bring you on. I'm so glad you accepted, and uh, you do great work. You really do. Oh, well, thank you very much. And, and Rick and Jeff, it's it's. I'm so happy to be here. And you guys couldn't see me off screen. I was dancing to the uh, opening <laughs> song there. <laughs> yeah, we do that too sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's funny because if you look at the the video, you've got us you know going through surf you know like neither of us have surfed in our lives, but we both live near the ocean, so um, ah. we're not too we're not too far from Malibu, and uh, and Jeff is he's got that big big Australian coast right next to him, so it's sort of fun. But <laughs> Sam, what what got you into doing the podcast, The Blind Life? Well, um, I started about five years ago, and really it it kind of started as I. I just I was bored. Um, I <laughs> to be honest, I was I was actually making videos for another channel at the time. Uh, the channel was called Mobile Tech Videos Two, hmm. and it's still up. And you can go watch my old terrible videos. Um, they're still on there. I don't do it anymore. But I, I was making videos for a gentleman, and the videos were all about Android and the Android system and mm -hmm. how to modify, with the air quotes, modify your Android system. And I was having a lot of fun doing that, but it was quickly winding down, and I needed something else to do. And then uh, one day I was searching for information on my vision impairment, which is Stargardt's disease, mm -hmm. and on YouTube, and I didn't really find much. There was, uh, there was videos about the medical side of it, but that's not really what I was looking for. And I decided, well... This one project is kind of winding down. I need something else to do, and I've got all the equipment. I know how to make videos, and I say, like, yeah, I should make my own channel, and, and that's kind of how The Blind Life was born. Well, you know, you do one thing that's really interesting because, like like me, I have a visual impairment too. I've got retinitis pigmentosa, which is related to star guards to a certain point. There, there are relationships. Yeah, we're cousins. <laughs> yeah, we're cousins, definitely cousins. Um, and... When I went looking, I could, there's so little out there. There's, you know, the definition of, but that doesn't help much. And then, mm -hmm. like, I, we were talking pre-show. I've been to, like, seven retinal specialists, of which seven knew absolutely nothing. I mean, there was, yeah, I can't help you. Yeah, you look good. You know what? Be happy. You're not totally blind. Okay. Well, thanks. Um, <laughs> and I finally found this one doctor, Latrell, in Ventura, and he happened to have, not originally, because I've known him for about five years, maybe a little longer, recently and he, he called and he said i've got something for you and i wasn't really paying much yeah right sure whatever um and he actually did and it's been working and it, it can help a lot of different conditions my wife has macu a little bit of macular degeneration he stopped in its tracks in two treatments i mean her weak eye she had cataract surgery about two three years ago her weak eye is now stronger than her strong eye and that's the first time in her life that's happened after two mm -hmm. red laser treatments. And she just, she's a, she's a sworn subscriber to this. She goes, this is amazing. Uh, and there's no pain. There's nothing. You don't even need, you don't need to be dilated. You don't need shots. They give you a, a drop to numb your eye. And that's about it. And mm -hmm. um, amazing technology. And, and, and they're saying that technology in the future will help with all sorts of other things like arthritis, with other diseases that can benefit from from stem cells they're doing it on knees so people have bad knees i've, I've got one bad knee um, they can do that to regenerate some of the cartilage in a knee for example and help build a knee back up and so it's amazing what they're doing and this is my doctor says this is the wave of the future it's it's where we're going towards the, the world of star trek and it's going to be pretty <laughs> cool so, but you yeah, know, on well, your show, I can never tell. I I used to watch you. When I watched you, I was going, "Is he blind? Does he see? He doesn't mm -hmm. look like he doesn't see anything." And you, you look like you see perfectly well. 
I'd never know yeah. you couldn't see at all. And, and you know, or you could see, but you don't see a hundred percent. I'd never right. know. You look like you're perfectly, you know, capable of of getting by anywhere, and that's really cool to see too, because it takes effort to get that good at it, and yeah. that's that's pretty neat. Yeah, I, I fake it pretty well. I, I hide it, and um, which is, we've I've had many videos about this, and I've talked to other visually impaired um, people on my channel about this this topic of how. And you, you could probably relate that we're kind of living in the middle. We're, we're stuck in this limbo between the sighted world and the, the blind world. We're, we're riding that fence, and we don't exactly know which way we, we should uh, be leaning. Yep. And it's, it's, it's nice to some degree, but it's also very difficult because a lot of people see us as, oh, you're not blind. You're, you're perfectly fine. Or right. uh, I know a lot of visually impaired YouTubers, they, they get the comments, oh, you're faking. You're not, you're not really blind. You're just doing it to, to get attention. And I got that growing up too from, you know, at school. Yep. Uh, so it's, it, it can be difficult, but I am very thankful for the vision that I have. Um, and it, 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 it's, things are difficult, but they could be a lot more difficult. Yeah. And, 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 you know, like with Jeff, Jeff and I have gone to trade shows together and stuff, and he knows that in certain conditions, I'm holding on to someone or something. It's like, <laughs> right. uh-oh. Um, and I don't usually tell people until after the fact, you know, I don't really see that well. And, and Jeff's seen it. He's, he's like, you know, I'll grab onto a shoulder or arm and like, hey, I can't see right here. Because um, it gets, mm -hmm. you go from light to all of a sudden it's totally dark and it's like on a Vegas trade show. And it's like, I just don't know where I am right now. This is not good. Um, right. I, was, I was one time waiting for my mom and and one of our family friends they went off to the bathroom at one of the big hotels and i'm just standing around trying to look like i know what i'm doing because it's really dark there and i'm looking at stuff and the security stopped me about four times saying uh, can we help you and i'm just waiting for uh you know my mom and someone oh okay um do you need help no i'm fine just you were looking sort of funny no i was just looking <laughs> so um, <laughs> right so it's a little embarrassing sometimes, but you know, more, more often than not, when you tell people, they go, oh, okay, and then they're helpful. But mm -hmm. I, was, I used to hate going to like a hotel by myself at night on a business trip, and I couldn't find my way to the room when the hotels were really, really, really dark. It took me one hour to find a room once, and I finally said, okay, drop the pride, go ask somebody for help. And I did. They were very helpful, but it was just... Sort of like, ah, I can't believe I can't find my own room. Jeez. Um, so that's the yeah. kind of stuff you go through. And people go, you know, my dad, when I was three years old and ran into things, would say, is he retarded? And mm -hmm. My mom would go, no, he just seems to have an issue. But, and then they took me in an eye doctor and they go, he doesn't see. Oh, mm. he's not retarded. Okay, good. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's the kind of things you go through. You play, like you said, you're, you're in school and then maybe you're doing a sport with someone and then it gets dark and you can't see the ball anymore. Um, right. Yeah, little things like that. They can be real irritating. Jeff, you've never had any eye problems other than just a little, you know, nearsightedness, right? That, that's right. But I must say, since you uh, put me onto Sam's channel, I think it's, uh, you know, well with everybody subscribing to it because you say, I don't have any vision problems. But what I've already got out of Sam's channel is things that you just never realize that are there. Like people talk about Siri a lot and how mm -hmm. it doesn't do things. But just watching Sam's channel just for a few minutes and a, and a few little videos, I thought, is that how you do it? Yeah, <laughs> because you just you, you think if you ask the right way and say, hey, does it do that? But you don't realize until some people who do need that, they take the time. And uh, just watching that, yeah, I realize how bad we speak sometimes. And you just see when Sam does a video, you said, well, if you do it right, it does it correctly. I remember was you saying uh, with uh, Rick has, is a, a fan of doing the auto dictation. Mm. And I'm great to see how it's evolved over the years. And when we, when we first met, when we did some text messages. There was one message Rick sent to me, <laughs> and he said, "Hey Jeff, the police are at the server. Be careful." <laughs> <laughs> what on earth is that? And that but I said, "Now it, would, it wouldn't happen, but sometimes it does that, doesn't it?" And we said, and we both got together and said, "What did you mean?" He said, "I have no idea." Yeah, sometimes it's, I don't know what language it's talking. I don't. In fact, when you said that, I was remembering. I go, what was I saying? The police are at the <laughs> server. 
It was probably <laughs> something about the server it. wasn't working or something, and I don't know what it was. Um, but Sam, have you have you found though that now, so even just in the past, you know, five or so years, the technology's improved so much in voice recognition that's really helped help the cause along the way. Oh yes, definitely. It's 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 been incredible the boom in, in technology, like you said, just within the last couple of years. But I will agree with you that it's not perfect. You do have to, uh, like you said, you have to say the right things. In fact. I, I do in my, my daily uh, job. I, I, I'm an assistive technology trainer, and I work with ah. people, teaching them how to use the devices. And one of the big things mm -hmm. we work on is mobile devices and teaching people how to use Siri and, and OK Google and all of that. And I tell them, I said, it's, it's incredibly smart, but it's not a person. You can't talk to it like a person. Uh. You can't use slang. You can't use, I mean, it will recognize a lot of that, but you have to be clear and concise and uh every now and then as you said they 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 screw it up my uh, my boss she has a a band called the conk republic and they are <laughs> a beach band playing jimmy buffett music yeah shout out to the conk republic and uh <laughs> but she whenever sometimes when she puts that into a dictate dictates that to a text message it says concrete public oh, funny instead of conk <laughs> republic <laughs> And so she has to go back in and fix it. So it's not perfect, but it is incredible how technology has progressed and, and how useful it is for us now. And Siri has gotten better. It used to be lousy. Siri was not as good as the Android Assistant. And now it's gotten, I'd say, real close to about as good. I think Android's still a little bit better, but Siri has, has matured. I guess she's in high school now, maybe. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, with, with Google, I mean, of course, it's it's... Google, it's ba uh, based on the Google search engine, so mm -hmm. it's going to have all that wealth of information. Yep. Um, but the, and I, we, we talked about this a little bit before the show, um, it hurts my heart to say it because I'm such a, a diehard <laughs> Android guy, that. Uh, but I think I'm going to be switching to the iPhone just because I find myself needing the voice, the screen reader, more and more mm. as my vision progresses because yep. it's a progressive uh, disease. It'll always continue to get worse. And the iPhone, the voiceover on iOS is just, in my opinion, so I don't get yelled at, is uh, is just better than Android's TalkBack yep. right now, at, anyway. And so I think I might switch. Yeah, it seems uh, uh, that... Uh, no. go, go ahead, Jeff. <laughs> I was just going to say, I must be one of the, like, with the new iPhones, people were complaining at first about they've removed the Touch ID to log into it, and it's just Face ID. But I yeah. really love that. I just like I can just I don't I can tap it anywhere on the screen and point it and it opens. So I thought that would be just fantastic. Some trying not to fiddle for the button, but it just opens and it works so damn well. And this is and then just squeeze that button on the side where everybody's comfortable with get Siri going. So I thought at first that getting rid of all buttons on phones would make it harder for people, but some. Incredible that you think these in innovations. You think how ridiculous now. Somebody does know that they are are, are a good thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. You were showing something on one of your latest podcasts, and I didn't. I have to go back and look at it. It was a, like a full page size magnifier for a digital magnifier, and it looked really cool, thin, and oh yeah, yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. They, I, yeah, they've got uh, they've got full size uh, ten inch, twelve inch digital magnifiers nowadays. Uh, that one I was was demoing is called the Looky Ten, which I still say <laughs> Looky Ten is a terrible name for anything. Okay. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> it's it's a really cool device, and uh, I know Eschenbach has one as well. Um, so a lot of companies are coming out with those larger. They 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 realize now that the the bigger screen really is better. Although you do sacrifice portability with that larger screen. Now, one thing I've done, which uh, I used to be able to read books all the time. I, re I still read voraciously, but I don't like reading books anymore because they've gone to like one mil, not even a millimeter. I mean, the 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 mm -hmm. 
the fonts are so thin, light gray, which is stupid. Uh, you can't read them. You know, light gray on a white background, even on screens, on websites, it's horrible what people are doing. And it's really hard to read, but I tend to read all my books on either Kindle or I'm mostly Kindle right now. And they're great. It's easy because if you don't want to read it, it'll also talk to you and tell you, you know, read it for you. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah. those, are, those are great. I've been doing that since literally 18 years when the Palm Pilot came out. And I was reading my books on that. I loved it. It was just great. Um, and I don't read paper books as much anymore. Though if I get one of those magnifiers, I think I might go back to that because some of the paper books aren't on Kindle. And I like the pictures, mm -hmm. which don't show up as nicely on, on Kindle. Now, you were also talking a little bit pre-show. Uh, you do a lot of video work. You've done video work. You like cameras. And my mm -hmm. wife is doing some research recently. And I found this interesting. I, I used to think I was one of the few people who could actually do any kind of photography, not being 100% visually sighted. And um, there's tons of actually very vision-impaired photographers out there, photographers and videographers. And I was going, interesting, that's cool. Um, you know, the tools don't exactly make it easy to do that, but it's amazing what you can do with the site you have with either viewfinders or just uh, some mm -hmm. magnifiers or just pointing the camera in the right direction and taking a great shot. Right. Yeah. And nowadays they even have, um, I mean, with, as you said, they had the viewfinders and the electronic viewfinders and even just the, the LCD display on the back of cameras um, are really good resolution, high mm -hmm. resolution screens. But now I saw recently that, uh, and they've been around for a while, but they have a magnifier device. I'm not sure what it's called, forgive me, but you can clip it onto the LCD screen of mm. the back on the back of your camera, and it will magnify mm. not very much, one and a half, two times, uh, and it has a little eyepiece, so you can look in there and you'll see your screen even magnified. Well, that's and I like thought, a... wow, that would be great <clears throat> for someone like me. Um, although it's just one more thing that I have to spend money on, which is not. <laughs> well, not there's great. a there's one that has a Zacudo is one of the brands Z A C U D O I think Zacudo makes. Uh -huh. And I forgot what it's mm -hmm. called. I, Z Find. I think it's called the Z Finder. And you put it on the back of your LCD screen, and then you look at it. It's got a, a pretty big viewfinder to look at. And now you're looking at it probably about two times the size, and it's great. Mm -hmm. okay. I think that's what Sam's talking yeah. about. Sam yeah, that's that probably the, the one, one the Zacudo. That's, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a famous one. They're about 500 bucks. Not cheap, yeah. but, but they do work <laughs> really well. And it's really bright when you look in it you can see everything like all those teeny weeny little four point fonts now look like about 12 point fonts so it's readable uh much much better so yeah those are great devices and i guess if you do have one of those it doesn't work for every camera but they can adapt it to just about every camera and uh, those are cool devices uh, i used to have one and then they it didn't work on anything but one old canon so i, I need to get a new one um, but it was good you could see very very well with it yeah, I'd but love to try one out. Um, and then plus, yeah. nowadays also you can you can connect an external monitor to mm -hmm. your yep. your uh, DSLR or your video camera and have a larger monitor there. Um, they even make cages for your cameras that your mm -hmm. monitor can attach to, so it can yep. be all one unit. So they really there are ways to work around it, that, and that's that's the whole point of my channel. The whole philosophy of my channel is you can do anything you want to within reason okay uh you're not going to be a long haul trucker if you're blind but you can do anything you want to you just have to learn a new way to do it and there are ways to do it out there with all this amazing uh assistive technology and and i think these days with the amount of times everybody's looking at screens there's more people uh, uh, suffering more because I'm sure all of our time looking at these screens, like I sit at work all day looking at a screen, and then you come home and do some video editing or do some photography looking at screens. I'm sure it's not yeah. doing uh, all of our eyes any good. So all these assistive uh, uh, advice and uh, apps and that, it suits everybody. So uh, it's, uh, and I just like some of the cool uh, things you've come up with on your channel channel i just had to say i saw the blind jedi <laughs> yes <laughs> yes that was, what the <laughs> that was cool <laughs> yeah that was incredible um i i just i got an email out of the blue from from a gentleman in amsterdam and he he worked with the lady who it was her idea and uh, debbie and and they i said yes i definitely want to check that out please send me one um even knowing that it was a prototype and 
yes, it's really, really cool. I'm excited to see the where that's going to go. That technology. It was pretty. It was pretty amazing, and it looked like it really lit in front of you. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it did a great job, and I mentioned it on the video that, you know, I've played around with. Uh, doing photography, I've played around with light tubes and, and that sort of thing, and it's it's difficult to get that beam of light to be consistent all the way down mm -hmm. the tube. <clears throat> Usually you have a really bright spot near the light source, and then it kind of fades, it dissipates as it goes down. And uh, But they did a great job to illuminate that entire tube, and um, for anybody that doesn't know what we're talking about, it's a light-up blind cane, a walking cane. And uh, as I said, they're, they're, they're working on the f finished products. They just started a GoFundMe. Check out their site to help <laughs> out with that. And I'm excited to see, to see what they come up with. That's pretty cool. I mean, there's other things with, you know, that could sort of lead to it. Things if they can develop it into a normal in walking sticks and things like that. So not just the canes. I think just how bright and nice to see that at night when people, you just can't see people with that. So it just helps. There's so many sort of advantages you could use that to. So I'm we, just amazed yeah. at the, at the, by looking at to say your channel, all the things that you just just take for granted that you just it opens your eyes quite a bit to all all the different technology and how you can use it to to everybody's advantage. Yeah, and that's that's another point of the channel is to get the information out there. Uh, because I, I'm constantly getting comments and, and, and emails about people didn't know this stuff existed until they saw it on my channel. Mm -hmm. And that just it brings me so much joy. Uh, it sounds cheesy, but it brings me joy to get the information out there and let these people know that these things are available and they exist and they can really help to improve their lives. Well, you know, we have a venue now that we didn't have 10, 20 years ago, really more than 10 years ago. And that's things like YouTube, the ability to make our own videos and to come out with stuff that causes that Internet to really join people because the doctors don't talk about this. The, even the manufacturers don't have a lot of money to advertise, so you don't hear about it. So now on right. the Internet, we're sharing stuff that in, you couldn't share in the old days. And, and it's pretty cool because no matter what it is, you can find something on for someone to help out and it's just great and and that's why i think what you do on these kind of kind of things is just a good thing for a lot of people um and you don't even have to be visually impaired because believe me as we get older you, you know my mom lives in a, in a place called leisure village which is in camarillo and they have four thousand seniors there 55 and over most of them probably in the 65 to 70 range and you should see them at night walking they don't have a lot of lighting in the main streets and they've got these huge LED lights that just light them up like crazy, and it's like, wow! <laughs> they really they get they get they don't stop walking at night. They still put on the big LEDs, and you know you can get flashlights that are maybe you know, about six inches long that put out about a two mile light, and yeah. so you put it in front of you, and it puts out a floodlight. You can see literally five or ten feet ahead of you. Now mm -hmm. that's great. All of a sudden, they're not tied to their homes anymore. They can get out at night, walk around. You got a beautiful, nice, balmy day or something. Go, I'm going out tonight, and they do. Yeah. And and you could see them yeah. either that or, either that or it's Night of the Living Dead. And they're about to kill us all. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> One of those. And that's that's re really that's a perfect example of a of an easy solution to that problem too. Just just grab a light, a flashlight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it works, Jeff. <laughs> Uh, now, Sam, with with your videos, what do you use, and uh, how do you so edit them? What what sort of program are you using for your editing? I use uh, I use Sony Vegas Pro um, mm -hmm. thirteen, I believe it is 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 my <laughs> editor of choice, and that's simply because it's it's fully featured. It's got all the features that I want, but it's still very user friendly, and it's graphically friendly for low vision. Um, I've tried mm. Adobe Premiere. I've tried to learn mm. it. I, I know how to do it, but everything's so tiny, yep. and it's it's just not set up very well for low vision. Um, it's, it's an amazing program. <laughs> I'd love to get to move to that because you can do so much with that program, but uh, I keep going back to Sony Vegas because it's just, it's just easier to use. Now, if you go to Sony Vegas, I think it's either 14 or 15. Uh, mm -hmm. I've been using Vegas for like uh, 15, 18 years, almost since it came out. I think it was like 2001 or two it came out. And on the newer one, now they have a dark interface. 
with the same Ooh. and it's really yeah because i had trouble with the light one it would just drive my eyes crazy but with the dark interface yeah. it's really readable now the fonts are big it's it's just really good so that might be a worthwhile upgrade to the 15 i think it's, i think they're doing it cheap like a hundred dollar yeah, upgrade definitely. now uh, but it's well worth it because they did make it visually a lot easier to use now you said something recent you were talking about getting a, a 30 i'm sorry a 40 inch samsung monitor or yes, Samsung yeah, TV. <laughs> a Samsung Funny TV. That, is that's that's today's video. Um, I'm going to be uploading it as soon as I we get done here, uh, talking about my introducing my new monitor. Yeah, I've got a big 40 inch Samsung uh, 4K TV yep. that I use as my computer monitor um, because I, I really wanted the best picture possible. Yep. Um, you know, you know, with with vision impairment, we need to we need to to give our eyes every chance to to get the information yep. in and be able to see. So. Uh, a, a good high resolution, good contrast, and big. So that's yep. why I got the big 40 inch. Yep. And you can actually go in full 4K mode at 300% for the text, and it looks absolutely great. We have two of those in the office. And Harold oh, yeah. can talk about it. He's been working on it now for what, about a week or two? What's your experience been, Harold? Oh, it's great. It's it's way better than I would have expected from a monitor, basically. I mean, from a TV, basically. It, it's 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 just like a big monitor, and then it... The contrast <laughs> is great, the picture is great, and the colors are good. And there's no input delay. So, for example, when you move your mouse, it moves with you rather than like the old days. You had to wait one or two seconds <laughs> and you got thrown off. It was awful. But they've gotten good. I, I even bought a TV recently. I brought one of the Sam. I, well, actually, I, I gave um, Harold the new one I had. We gave him a new one, and I bought a 43-inch Sony that was about the same because they got rid of the model that we used to get for the monitor. It's like, ah, oh, right when we discovered it, they got rid of that model. It's like, no, don't do that. Uh, <laughs> so there's a 43-inch Sony, which there's another Samsung that works. So you probably got, uh, you probably might have the same one we have. Uh, but there's a new, also Sony 43-inch, which looks just as good. And so it's a tad bigger, which, you know, creates a little bit more searching with your eyes. But the 40-inch yeah. is almost perfect. It's a perfect yeah, size, yeah. and it makes things big, and you can do video editing nice on it. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been very happy with it, and when I, uh, it's a smart TV also. So when I switch over to the smart TV, you really get the full uh, 4K effect mm -hmm. with it, and I was I was like blown away. I was watching shows that. You grew, you grow up, or not really grow up, but you watch TV shows on just regular um, HD, and everything, it's it's a good quality picture, but it's still slightly fuzzy around the edges. Mm. And then you watch that same show on a 4K TV, and it's like you're looking through a window at the real people standing there acting, and it's just a whole different in uh, experience. And the first couple of uh, days watching TV shows. I had a hard time getting into the show because I kept like being pulled out thinking, wow, that picture is so crazy good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's not like that anymore. I'm used to it now. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. Well, Jeff got... Go I was going to say, I must admit, I said, I must admit with these big TVs, I sometimes do get stuck watching things that mm -hmm. are total rubbish, but visually <laughs> they're so fantastic. I just right. can't get over, but the, the content is hopeless, but they've just recorded it so nice. I just have to watch it, and it's just so compelling. And well, you, rubbish you looks good, doesn't it? I was just saying, you were saying before about the Vegas and the and the, and the dark background, Rick. Mm -hmm. One of the features, I think, on the new iPhone is it's got the, the reversible, the dark background. It does. But it does. In it, fact. It does, though. It, it stays, but you can have it normal and then just click one, the side button, to flick it over, then flick yeah. it back. So so it does. So if you want it one way, the normal way, or then you have that dark background. From, but what it does, though, it just doesn't switch it round it switches all the other colors round like some of them just do a dark background and whatever the uh, other thing on the, the right. thing you're reading <coughs> mm -hmm. is the same color but this reverses everything so it does a can't explain it properly but it does a really good job from yeah they call it the smart invert because it doesn't mess mm. with your graphics it just changes no, everything right. else which the other ones used mm -hmm. to be really kind of dumb but uh, yeah, this is the way it looks the standard iphone look and I, i'm in the dark mm -hmm. background um, I did a dark wallpaper, but when you go into like your phone, 
Let me bring the phone up. So that's what the phone looks like. When it's in normal mode, you cannot read the phone. It's light 5% gray on a white background. I don't yeah. know who can read that. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's so, so light. And it makes no sense to put that much strain on your eyes for no reason. It's just bad design. Um, but it's great. And for example, if you want to go into your settings, which are very bright, you can barely read those. Um, here are the settings when you go into bigger mode. I don't know if you could see that. Mm -hmm. um, but those are big letters. Oh, yeah, that's nice and big, and isn't it? Yeah, so I if I go this way, that, yeah. everything's big. Yeah, mm -hmm. see that? That's great. And so I don't struggle at all. And you can make the font There's as no big press. or as small as you want. I think I'm almost at the top. I'm about three quarters. If I went too big, then it got almost too big. Um, but <laughs> I can say I can see I can see I can see SOS on there. So don't press that. Yeah, no, I won't <laughs> press that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no SOS. Um, yeah, that would be actually bad. Well, you know, I know, I know, Sam, you're married, and I think you have kids too, right? <laughs> Sam? Oh, did we lose Sam? Oh, he's frozen. He froze up just like a few seconds ago. Oh. Mm. Let's see if... You want to give him a call back? Yeah. It could have been Skype just for us. It's, it's great that it lasted that long. Sometimes Skype has a few the in PC between, froze? but that's... Yeah, let me just... Uh... Okay, <laughs> we had a problem with the PC. I don't know what froze. Wonders of modern technology. Actually, I'll just, I'll just switch it to the other one. Let's see. Okay. So we're going to call him back on the other line. That happens sometimes. We have these small uh, machines that are Skype machines, and every so often it freezes up. I don't, we, we think it's probably Microsoft or Skype with some incompatibility. Usually it only happens mm -hmm. when we're on Skype. So Skype but we were saying something. with Sam before the Rick has, say it has open my for all these different things like just when you're doing all the voice commands, doing the, mm -hmm. the text messages, and yeah. you, you just never even think about like you said, oh yes, I've got a text message. You don't even think about saying read it to me, right, <laughs> right, <laughs> and you know it does do that, but mm -hmm. until you need it and you think, gee, that's so handy, even yep. for when you're driving along. Let's see if the. Sam? Nope. It's doing it. Sam, are you there? I'm, I'm back. There you go. I don't know oh, what happened. <laughs> One of the machines looks like it locked up. or Skype does that to us every so often. It locks up. Oh, no. Okay. So you have video uh, on me? Uh, not yet. We do. <coughs> there we go. Sorry about Rick that. Must have, I thought Brick might have pressed his auto disconnect on his iPhone. No, no, no. <laughs> the magic, the, have you got that on your no. phone? No, no. I'm not near the control <laughs> surface, so that's, that's how it... Phone and then stopped it. <laughs> I thought that you've got a new device on your iPhone that controls the video switcher. Yeah, no, that'd be <laughs> funny. No. We actually still haven't got your video back, Sam. Uh, Sam, your video's off, but we can... Here can we you go. hear us? We've got you. Oh, there we are. Oh, there you go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it's Modern a horrible technology. way to leave you to... Yeah, just to leave you, and we're talking. I think, I think he's just frozen <laughs> for a second. <laughs> Rick was just asking you a question. I think about uh, what would you asking, Rick? Oh, I was just saying, Sam, you're you're married with kids, right? Yes. Yeah, I have and, a, a, a thirteen year old daughter, and believe it or not, a twenty one year old son. He'll be twenty one oh. in, in about two months. That's cool. Now you know, with my wife, I call her my seeing eye wife. And they always go, mm -hmm. you're seeing eye wife? I go, yeah, she's my seeing eye wife. She's walked me into trash cans, trees, telephone poles. Oh, you <laughs> name it. I'm 6'2", and she's 5'1". So anything over her head, she goes, what? What? You're going to walk <laughs> into something? Bushes, trees, eh. Uh, but we have a good time with that. And um, it's sort of fun. We make a joke of it. But how, do you, how did your kids grow up? knowing hey dad doesn't see that way my, my, my daughter would pull all these stunts like for example when she was a teenager she'd crawl in front of my office in like a military crawl so that i wouldn't see her so i'm watching her going what is she yeah. doing <laughs> and you know then she gets past that gets to another room and and is sneaking under a table trying to make a phone call so i walk up to her and i go what you doing and she's yeah. like what? How, how did you see me i go it's amazing what you can see when you can't see. <laughs> and, you know, she hated it when she was a teenager. She was always trying to pull something, and I was always there. She goes, how do you do this? I go, huh? we have our ways. Um, but it's sort of fun because the kids never quite know, should I try to pull something? Should I not? What's going on? Do you think they'll see me if I do this? Um, mm -hmm. Have you had any of that? 
Oh yeah, yeah. My yeah. daughter yep. does the same things. And with my vision, with with Star Guards, it's basically juvenile form of macular degeneration. Mm-hmm. So I I lose my central vision first, um, right. and it kind of works its way out. <clears throat> so I have I still have really good peripheral, and so even if I'm looking forward, I'm I'm kind of seeing everything around me at the same time. Yeah. And <clears throat> with peripheral vision, you're drawn to the movement of of objects mm-hmm. and things like that. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be sitting there, and all of a sudden, I'll see this little body trying to crawl across the floor. <laughs> and I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> or most of the time, I, I hear her uh, because my my hearing has gotten yep. much better. Or not really gotten better, but I use it much more than I used to. Mm-hmm. And um, so I'll hear her and, and, and bust her. Um, but it's very <laughs> funny. My wife, actually, when we were dating, uh, she knew, you know, how my vision was and all that, but she didn't really understand exactly how it worked. So I remember we were sitting in my living room one time and we were just watching TV and I sit on a chair up by the television so I can see it. I'm about mm-hmm. two feet away from the TV. <clears throat> yeah. And she was sitting on the couch and she kind of gets up and she starts to adjust her underwear. I think she was wearing a dress, you know, and she starts <laughs> to adjust her underwear underneath the dress and I'm like, you know, I can totally see you, right? And she's like, what? No, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Like, yes, I can see. <laughs> it's funny. So she she doesn't do that anymore. But she she uh, we we like to call them uh, sighted supporters. Um, yes, was a term that was coined by my buddy Derek Derek Daniel over on his YouTube channel, and uh, he she she and my kids are are great sighted supporters. Um, I have videos actually with my kids talking about what it was like to grow up with a, a blind parent and yeah. how that was for them. And uh, as you can imagine, it wasn't anything different. It's just the way it was. Um, right. You know, dad was always like that. So they didn't know any difference. And uh, but they're great. They they help me out all the time. They read menus for me. They, yep. they yep. read That's whatever great. I need them to read. <laughs> That's cool. And it's funny, and you know what? And for any of you out there who are watching, and has anybody made comments yet, or has anybody even come on? Because it's a weird hour right now. I haven't done any comments. No, yet. nothing yet. Okay, but uh, for you, for you watching later on, if if you have any kind of disability, no matter what it is, that's all it is. Don't let it stop you, because mm-hmm. believe me, it's real easy to just give up. Don't let it stop you. There's a million things you can do to get better at it it's sort of like anything you do in life if you try to be a programmer and you find programming hard well you're either not good at it or try a little harder you might get good at it or if you want to ride a bike or if you want to run or if you want to do whatever you want to do nothing happens without practice and the more you practice the better you get at it and um and it's amazing what you can do with life um and and literally you can do almost anything no matter how well you can see or hear or or whatever and you know, it's it's just a a miracle that our bodies can and our brains can really adapt to just about anything, even when it's hard. Yes, absolutely, and yes. and and then nowadays, so much, so many amazing technologies can make everything easier for you. <laughs> yeah, it helps. It really does yeah. help. Well, Sam, we are at the end of our show. We're going to put a, po- a playlist together. I, I don't know how they do it. There's a way we can do it on YouTube where we can link to your channel so you could, so people can, when they come to ours, can see your videos. So we'll okay. link to that so people can get access to what you're doing, and uh, hopefully we can help you spread a little bit more to, to you know, the type of people mm. you're you're getting right now and the and the kind of views. Hopefully, it it helps you even more, which is great. Um, and um, and we really appreciate you coming on today and sharing some of what you do and and the work you do. I think you do you do a great job and and what I love is you've, you've got such a great attitude about it and that's infectious. So you know keep it up and I appreciate it. Yeah. Well, well, great. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. I can always use help getting people to the channel. <laughs> Although we did just pass ten thousand subscribers this that's week. That's great. That was really amazing. Yeah. Pretty excited about that. That is absolutely thank you. Great. I, I appreciate it, Rick and Jeff. It was it was great to being on the show. Yes, thank you. And as I said, I've already subscribed and ticked that little bell, so I get in the whenever there's a new video out there. And I always say to Rick, with every every guest and every person on YouTube I see, there's just so much out there that I just don't realize that's there until you go and look for it. Yeah. And that's that's the thing, like you said, if somebody's looking for 
there's something for everybody and i think even your channel it does for everybody you don't have to be visually impaired to enjoy your channel either you get so i've gotten so much out of it already so so keep up the good work and and thank you great, great. well thank you <laughs> and for you guys watching it's called the blind life it's a great channel whether you're blind or not or just don't see well or you're getting old and you're not seeing as well go take a look at it so it's, it's a great channel with some great advice so sam we'll see you soon hopefully we'll see you soon here again and um for all you folks watching please subscribe give us a thumbs up why not we never asked for that but go for it and or if you don't <laughs> like it give us a thumbs down um and uh we will see you next week on tech down over have a good one everyone bye-bye thanks, thanks. Bye for now. <laughs>